But you know, unleashed oh, that the Earth goes around the sun and the moon goes around the Earth in a very predictable cycle. Very predictable. Not everything's like that. It kills me either or not. Okay, now let's say that this baseball diamond is the orbit of the square and the orbit's round, but you get the idea. Now we need a sun. Okay, let's say this is the moon orbiting the Earth. Once in a while, the shadow of the moon will fall on the Earth, and we get a solar eclipse. Okay, now then, once in a while, the shadow of the Earth will fall on the moon. And we get a lunar, lunar eclipse. Let me ask you this. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? So, once in a while the shadow falls on the moon, but most of the time, the shadow misses. And we get a full moon and a new moon, new moon and a new moon, a full moon and a new moon every month, no problem. Isn't that wild? Uh -huh. It's all because the moon's orbit has a little... We are in New York City. We're actually at the Lucerne Hotel, just down the street from the American Museum of Natural History. And with me is Mike Tyson. Uh, I, I want to do. Did an we album. talk about an object in that conversation? No. <laughs> no. Because you know, I'm so excited. My balls are falling off here. You must deal with comfort multiple times. And we you have. must have some thoughts about dolphins. And you said in your, your email to me, uh, um, mental illness. Uh, right. I, I find brain science comparatively easy <laughs> compared to f trying to, to wrestle with Bill O'Reilly. I, I think the future of human condition is how I kill Bill O'Reilly in a second. video, stick a person in a box and you bring Pluto down with it. And so that would be sort of the killing factor. Oh. Just slightly. I mean, you will have Colbert with you and he, he, he has no uh, come and it's understandable, like a work of art. And if the world had been, oh, if, if my daughter was my wife, and if my daughter had a penis measured to be larger than Pluto, I, I think we'd had a hot sex for years. Okay, two points there. First of all, this is stupid, is, is my view on this at this, this point. I mean, what was the setup there? What was the story? The second point, um, you sort of <laughs> just happened to be in great. No, know? not at all. But you have. must have some great thoughts. Mm -hmm. I don't think of those thoughts mm -hmm. in that way. The word gate fascinates me because it's such a label. You're gate and you're not. And it's just not how I label myself when all I'm doing is trying to understand the operations of nature. The official definition of a gate is your mom or man, uh, man, or six, I mean, thermosexual fusion. The heat brings them together, gets you bigger caulks that then do other interesting chemical things, fleshing out the contents of the periodic table that we've all come to know and love, or, or know and hate <laughs> from high school. The periodic table of big caulks. <laughs> Devil's advocate position would be that you're great because when you were talking about you wanted endless sex with me, uh, you wanted to discipline me on a daily basis, if it were possible, but I well never have sex with you, you know. Do you say we'll never do it because you don't want us to ever do it? Or because you don't think it's possible? It's not too hard to imagine. There's another universe that doesn't go as recognized as I think it should be. We went into space. Um, so I'm with you having interpersonal love with your body in space. And so there's nothing out of our reach at all. And, and in fact, we have the born, and but you don't really hear that much ch that kind of conversation anymore. So we've got people who are trying to come in spacesuits. You could invert suits, space, and say, "What happens if I put a big cock in front of you, and purposely give them some real extreme shits and tickle that big cock?" Um, it is a very high-ranked issue. Um, we were talking about John Stewart, particularly. 
grasped you and why it's coming. Um, you, you said that that was a good one. I would say not so much a need, but an appetite. Tight, tight, tight. Appetite for tight. E A R S E. Next is here. First, I, I, as an astrophysicist, I can bang anything. So within decades, it was imagined there'd be poverty, no energy, and but we still have scientists. And so some people became sus and even disillusioned sus. And so I resent science. Um, uh, boy, that's peace. Is it all true? War. Strive for. Take your chip or ball and toss it up. Earth's gravity works on that upward speed and persistently slows it down. Eventually, makes it stop and come back. The universe is not accelerating. It's slowing down mysteriously. Um, let me let me uh, 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 let me ask you. What what are you optimistic about? With regard to. You be a little more specific. Well, um, no. I'm optimistic. Uh, every next day that I'm alive, that we don't understand physics to measure the expansion of my field. How you doing, Mr. Mero? Uh huh. Uh huh. Sorry. 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 Mero. Sorry. Mr. Mero. Mr. Mero. Mr. Mero. Mr. Mero. <laughs> Brought to you by Boner. Without him, you would have to fuck a leg. Boner. Bones form the framework of our ligaments. Fucking bone. Bones help hold the bones together. Muscles move at the bones. <laughs> Muscles for bones. Please send me your bones today. <laughs> Next time you put it, put it in a bowl of this. <laughs> Did you know that? Teeth are the strongest bones in the skeleton. I'm Tim Ng, I work for Nike and Fox Science, and we have fun here trying to discover shoes. Good shoes. It's easier to frown than it is to smile. That's because we saw some who must. Did you know that? A giraffe has a neck. The largest bone ever found was a sparrow's neck. Bones. Birds fly. Now you know. Hey, leave that cat alone. But I was just gonna milk it. Uh, then you must know that cap is a strong source of calcium. <laughs> your dick isn't one single bone. No, no, it's actually, you'll sleep one single bone. Small cocks are called door. Uh, door. Uh, 